Hey, girl, Clarissa, what's good, baby? Baby, baby, baby girl, times. hold up. Like, I'm talking I, to my I, wife, bro. Clarissa. Ryan, you're feeling good. I just <laughs> tweeted you a video. Hey, 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 hey Clarissa Ryan, is my Adrian to the Rocky. Clarissa is my Adrian to the Rocky. My baby girl, let's make a baby. No, Ryan. In your oh, head. my God. Why? Is this that boxing woman? Is she the one she's that's the friendly? Best or is... of all time. I'm the best. Are... No, she's, the, she's the best Y'all woman are... of all time. Yes, I am the greatest woman of all time, boxer. But Ryan, where but what this... about me? I'm the greatest man fighter come... of all time. So come on, talk to me, baby. Ryan, where did this come from, my friend? I just woke up and I, I, I just realized, yo, we would make a superhuman. Why not? He might Did fuck you, come out and start flying. You propositioned her? <laughs> like who it's too breathes, early in the day for this. Who breeds children, <laughs> Ryan? It's, it's so, who, who breeds children? Like, how do you pick? Breeds? Like, what do you mean? A lot of people actually do that. At the top, they do that. They literally genetically. That's like here. LeBron James and Serena Williams having a baby. That would, no, that would be nuts. That would be crazy. Everyone put put the one hundred emoji if you want to see this baby. That's <laughs> <are> stupid as <laughs> hell. <laughs> hey, Clarissa, it's a fucking joke. Like, relax. Like, nothing's always like it's a joke. Like, it is what it is. If well, you, you would court it, her first, right? right? You would take right. her to the cheesecake factory. And... Can we go on a date if I beat Debbie Benavides? Well, you know, Ryan, you know that I'm engaged, right? What the? Fuck? I've been engaged <laughs> for two years. Oh. I didn't know that. Damn, my bad. Tell the homie I said I'm sorry. Oh, we didn't know that. Yeah, we didn't know that. Like, hey, you can't hate on a person that didn't know. Sorry about that. No, I'm not. I'm not. I'm just saying, though. I, I have a big ring I wear <laughs> every day. What the f is that? Um, but yeah, um, hey. Um No, but on the, on another note, no, Ryan, when you said that I should date Tank, I really wanted to beat your ass. <laughs> Real talk. Who the f- all right, my bad. That, that was my my B, my B, my B. Like my one, that like, was, yeah. If that you want to like spar, super um, low. Can we spar? Hey, we'll spar, but I won't hit you. Well, you're going to get, you. well, Ryan, I wouldn't, I wouldn't spar nobody who If I'm dodging me. all your shit, what would you say? Like, damn, he's just that good? You if I, if I, not, dodge like, all my like shit. hypothetically, if I was dodging all your shit and you couldn't if hit you, me, what would you say? Hi- hypothetically, which it never happened, yeah. but hypothetically, if you were dodging all my yeah. shit, I would yeah. give you props for having good defense and being a good Thank boxer. You. It's only been Thank one you. boxer who I feel like been able to dodge all my punches. And that was, Earl, that was Earl Spence. I didn't spar Terrence Crawford. Earl, all right, all right. Nah, hell no. Nah. That motherfucker can't even. But this was back when I was 17, talk. though. I was 17. Uh, I'm 29 okay, okay. now. Yeah. Uh, okay. I was getting ready right for the Olympics. Now, I, honestly, I would take you beating him in a decision now. I'm not even kidding. Okay. No. I don't, I, I don't think so. But why do you want to fight Earl? Because I don't fuck with him at all. I'll put but that why though? Like, him. is it is it because of the Derrick James situation? Yeah, he, yeah, I, he got beef with my coach. I got beef. Okay. I don't okay. wait when, when I when I when I'm when, when I'm with the squad. I don't question <laughs> it. I right. don't. <laughs> if, if they want to the smoke with him, I give him smoke. So Derrick James was just like, "Yeah, Ryan, go in, go at Earl for me." Cause Derrick knows running. I can beat his ass. Derek Did you want Earl ever spar? Nah, nah. But De- okay. Derek knows. De- Derek told me I, I whoop his ass. Derek, oh, wow. Derek told me he's. Derek told me he's never met another person. He said nobody that he ever holded mitts with has ever hit as hard as me ever. He said ever. Who's he? Ho- who's he held the mitts with? He said nobody that he's ever trained is harder in any weight class. That's fucking. He trained Anthony Joshua. Well, you know, speed is power, and you're very fast, so it makes yeah. sense. Yeah, it does. It does. I mean, you, you're you're a boxing mind. You know, you know what's good. You know the truth. The truth is the truth. I feel like I feel like Sugar Ray Robinson was the best fighter in the world ever. Like me and you, after- me and you feel the same. Absolutely correct. He oh, was. You feel the same way. Sugar Ray Robinson, absolutely, my favorite fighter in the world. Yeah. Number one. Hey, he was different, right? Very different. I mean, talking about a guy going, was he? I mean, he fought every weight class you could think of. He went ninety, <laughs> I think ninety eight and one in the amateurs. 
I mean, this dude and then we're like, like eighty bro. and O, right, or some shit like that. What did he do? I forgot. That motherfucker was crazy. He fought all weight class from welterweight to heavyweight. That's fucking nuts, right? It's very nuts. And he was dominant until he got old. That's what I'm what I mean. trying to be on. That's what I'm trying to be on. <laughs> I'm trying to get to heavyweight one day. He never fought at heavyweight, but he fought a lot of weight classes. Didn't he fight Rocky um, Marciano? <laughs> Bro, no. I don't know. I, I think, think he was, he was thinking about you think about some, Jack no, Dempsey. He fought somebody. All right, y'all laughing, though, Jack right? Dempsey no, Apollo. Somebody, like, he fought Apollo Creed. No, it was somebody. No, it was Jack no, Dempsey. No, it was his biggest rival. Jack Dempsey. Jake LaMotta was his, it was big his biggest rival. rival. Jake LaMotta was Sugar Ray Robinson's yeah. biggest rival. Jake LaMotta. There Jake it is. LaMotta. Jake LaMotta. Dude, Jack that dude was fucking... Yeah, Jake LaMotta was fucking nuts. Hey, I got to drop that down. not die, bro? Sugar Ray Ryan, have a good one, brother. Love you like a brother in Christ. Oh, uh, yeah. Get Eaton. Uh, make him the host. All right, for sure. Shout out to Disciple Dark. Ryan, aren't you on vacation right now? I am. Where, uh, so where you at? The Bahamas. Oh, nice, nice, nice. I got family out there. Yeah. You ain't never been? Oh, for real? Yeah, I got family out there. Oh, hey, can I, can I be real with you, though? What up? Like, a waiter a waiter sexually assaulted me last night. Or yesterday. No. What? Get out. Yeah, she, she did. I'm being real. When you say sexually assaulted, what do you mean? She grabbed my dick. <laughs> like, literally was grabbing my dick. I was. No. I that's no I good. Love. Without your permission? That's wrong. Yeah, what? Of course. Yeah, it was crazy. But I don't see it happens to me all the time. I just I just I be in shock, bro. I just be like, damn. I just like I gotta take the L on this, I guess. <laughs> what? So bro. why do you want to fight David Benavidez? Where'd this come from? I just woke up and was like, the homie Canelo don't want to do it. I'll do it. Fuck it. So you think Canelo can beat Benavidez? I do. So how can we think you're not fighting him? I think, I think if Canelo uses his, you know, his his brain for that fight, he wins. If he uses his, like, I know Canelo. Canelo got a lot of pride. If he, if he uses his pride, he loses. Mm. You understand what I'm saying? Yeah, I mean, like just fighting without without thinking, like just kind of. Well, you know, going Canelo, forward, he, like he got a lot of pride. Kind of how he fought against Bivol. Yes, ex see. Yeah, a lot of much. He's from Me from Mexico. Yep. Yep. Hundred percent. Hundred percent. So if I think if he if he because he, he has more experience than David. David is David's good. Don't get me wrong. Great fighter. Actually. Yeah. But I think if Canelo uses his brain, like I'm talking about first Triple G fight, I know that I thought he lost that fight, but if he fights similar to that, but more on like the movement. He wins. Yeah, he Does somebody be be David needs somebody, somebody to stand there, bro. David needs somebody to stand there to hit him. Do you guys watch him fight? Like he needs. Yeah, I was just about to say that. I was literally no just. No way. About to... Like David, David hunts guys down. Like he's he's good at cutting yeah, off. Yeah, but the Caleb ring. Plant don't have power. The only reason he was able to do that to Caleb because Caleb ain't got no fucking. Caleb can't crack an egg. You think so? I think Caleb's pretty strong. What? Uh. -uh. Caleb was whooping him when he wasn't tired. Caleb was winning when he wasn't tired. Clarissa, I what? might, I might go, I might go on the 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 record to say I think you might even hit harder than Caleb Plant. If I'm being real, yeah, that's why. Like, that's why. I mean, like, so, so, so the difference between women's boxing and men's boxing is, you know, I haven't had the privilege to pad my record. If that makes sense, like when you look at my fourteen and zero and two knockouts. It's like I knocked out two world yeah, champions. You're two time undisputed in 14 fights. You don't need to explain yourself to anybody. Three time undisputed. Fuck. But. My bad shit. No, you good. But I'm saying, like, in the men's division, you know, a lot of guys fight. I mean, I don't want to be mean, but like, nobodies or guys who they yeah. just fighting to get the knockout over. And then you see these guys right. that are 30 and 0 with 28 knockouts or or 30 and 0 with 15 knockouts, and you don't know half their opponents is. And on the other hand, okay, me, but Clarissa, can I think you admit I that I, I should have not I should have knocked out Devin Haney. They should have gave me that knockout. I mean, okay, well, 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 well. I, I would say the eleventh round was really bad. I looked at his dad, I said, 
can you stop this fight? I felt bad because he did not look okay. Like, Devin well, wasn't I can there agree anymore. to that. I thought that, you know, I was on a, I was a, like a co-host of commentary. And I was telling him, like, you know, I thought the fight should have been stopped. I thought Devin was taking a whole lot. And, you know, I'm not really, like, I'm cool with you. I'm cool Honestly, with Devin. Honestly, I feel bad because I, I personally, I personally believe that Devin Haney would never be the same. Like, I'm telling you, like, a whooping like that. Like, that shit goes a long way, and I feel really bad. And I told the dad, I said, you got three chances to stop this fucking fight. I dropped him three times. That in itself was prophetic. Yeah. And so... I told him I was going to ask. I told him in the ring. I said, I told him before the fight, I said, I'm going to look at you and tell you to stop the fight in the fight before it happened. That's God. No, I think you're a really big believer in God. And so you have proved recently that you didn't test for what's the... 19 nano something uh, you know i didn't attest for that shit you've been knowing me for a minute so you no so my me, question like... is when will they know if because you still have to clear up the ostrium right 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 whatever that is right like, i don't know what that is like right this is what frustrates me i don't know what that is you know i so, don't even know how you so while you're on here i, I don't want know. you to know that when we got when when the world got the news because you're a big superstar, right? Everyone right. was shocked, and even myself was shocked to even see that right. you, you know, that they said that you had tested positive. tested positive. So I made a post basically like damn wild Ryan, but in a way I still didn't believe. Right. It. You understand what I'm saying? And yeah, and I feel you. you one thing you, I hate about you boxing have every is right that to your right, but what I hate about boxing is that once you test for something, right? They just right. put it out there, but you're still supposed to be given a <laughs> chance to prove your innocence before right. it gets put out there. But yeah. it's like as soon as it gets you know put why, out there, you know you're just I a cheater your side? to the whole world. You want to know why I took your side with Elisa Bumgarner? I mean, because, because I'm one, better. She do, no, one, she do look like she on steroids. You know? No. Hey, no. Hey, the truth is the truth. A duck is a duck. That, that girl looked like she on steroids, bro. She, she looks like a head. bum that sleeps out in the garden. Back to you. Bro, she out there with Devin Haney, bro, and, like, just acting really strange, bro. She needs help, bro. She needs prayer, for real, for real. Yeah, you know, some people just carry an evil spirit, and I think right. I think she's one of those people, but you just have to, like, I'm just happy that we're not friends no more. You know what I mean? I'm happy that she showed her true colors. You used to be friends with her? What? Oh my God! If I show you the DMs between Fuck me and her, like we were real, like, real? we were like, she was calling me sis. I was calling her sis. I asked her for advice. We were cool as hell. And then that's fucking nuts. And then There's she just no kind of switched up out of nowhere, and I was shocked. But hey, it is what it is. You know, when God reveals who somebody is, you just gotta, you know, you just gotta right. believe it. And so at first I was disappointed Best. because I'm like, damn, this is my homegirl, but. Then again, I was like, you know, when somebody show you who you are, show you who they are, you gotta believe them, and kind of go from there. You know what I mean? Yeah, you're 100 percent correct. That, that I didn't know you guys were friends. Yeah, yeah, I, I used to go to her fights and her weigh-ins, and well, it was recently though, like when we fought together in the UK when I beat Savannah Marshall, and then after that, but we actually trained at the same gym leading up to that time, just at different, just at different times. We never sparred or nothing, but. We saw each other every day. We had each other number, you know, text back and forth. You know, when she tested positive, I called her and checked on her. When, like, you know, everybody was jumping on her and calling her a steroid cheat and she's still having proven her innocence, I was kind of, you know, still behind right. her, still supporting her, texting her, making sure she was good, sending her motivational messages. But, hey, if people just, if people envious of you, they just envious of you. And she one of them people. So it is what it is. That's crazy. That's crazy, yeah. bro. That see, I kind of already knew that about. Is it, is it, it, it? Is it easy being friends? Is it easy being friends in this industry? In this fuck sport? no, bro. No, bro, this is the worst fucking industry in the world, bro. Boxing is the most corrupted shit ever alive, bro. It's the loneliest fuck, bro. sport, be... bro. It's the loneliest, bro. Nobody cares, bro. Like, we've been getting hit in the head since we were babies, bro. Seven years old, bro, I was out there throwing them shit. So, <laughs> if y'all, this is what I'm trying to say, like, bro, like, this is not for the faint of heart, bro. This is some real warrior shit. Like, if you're not, if you're not about it, bro, don't come up on here and tell me what to do, bro. 
That's how I talk. That's how I talk to people. You ain't you ain't been what I've been through. Facts. Bro, I, I've been I've been I've been fighting motherfuckers since I was seven, non fucking stop. I done got my ass beat fucking a hundred times and came back every time. Motherfuckers, they used to have two motherfuckers beat me up at the same time. My dad said, either you sink or swim. That's it. He, my dad told me to quit many times when I was eight years old. Why the fuck are He told me exactly like this. Why the fuck are you boxing? I lost one tournament. All because I didn't throw 15 jabs. That's it. And then I, my ass, by myself, went at 12 o'clock midnight and threw 115 jabs by myself at eight years old. This shit, boxing is different, bro. Boxing is a whole different game that don't get in it unless you, unless you really about it, bro. That's, That's, a That's all I got to say. That's a hundred. My dad, my dad was the hardest trainer ever on me. Yeah. Yeah, people be trying to talk. Hey, Clarissa, who are you going to fight next? Or when are you going to fight next? I'm fighting in the July. And I'll be going for my fourth division. End of July? Yep, my fourth division. It'll be announced pretty soon. Damn. We're getting everything locked in. But, you know, that's crazy. I've been back and forth between boxing and MMA. So, my last fight in MMA, I won in Saudi Arabia. Now, I'm fighting back in the U.S. for boxing. That's what... Okay. See, that's I got to be honest. Like. You look more ruthless... You, you look more ruthless in MMA than in boxing. Yeah, I think in boxing, I'm ve- I'm just a very skilled fighter, and I haven't. I got a lot of dog in me, but I haven't. When I when I get somebody hurt, I think I throw too many punches, and I've been telling myself to just when you hurt somebody, calm down and pick your shots. And it's and it's been kind of hard for me to make the transition from in the amateurs when I was like throwing 200, 300 punches a fight to you know up in four rounds, and now we're professional and we got 10 rounds and I still throw as many punches so I have to make my punch count go down and start placing my shots it's a process yeah uh Clarissa um what's up uh big fan big fan I what was up with you and uh Keith Thurman like what was up with that it really wasn't nothing for real I mean it started off with me. Somebody interviewed me and they asked me if you could fight against uh any man world champion or any man who was former world champion in the world, who would it be? And I said Sean Porter and Keith Thurman. And uh I actually asked Hey, thank God you didn't say me, Clarissa. Now you said triple G years ago, remember? You said triple Yeah, G look, first. but I've have also I also <laughs> know these guys and they're very respectful of me. So I asked Triple G would he spar me. Triple G said no. I asked Sean Porter, would he spar me? Sean Porter said no because he would have to hit me for real because he know I would be hard to spar against and he don't want to hit women. And then Keith Thurman just kind of got disrespectful with it. Like Keith Thurman was like, oh, I can put on a headgear and I'll only use one hand and I'll beat Clarissa up. And it was like, Keith Thurman, you ain't even that fucking good to be talking like that, bro. So just shut up. You're not even that, you're not even that, that skilled to be talking like that. But y'all think I'm crazy, right? That's crazy. You just said you beat Triple G, Keith Thurman, and I'm crazy though. That's some funny. Shit. I said I beat them in sparring, but Ryan, you Ryan, no... do you want to spar? Cause you, you ain't gonna be no Triple G, Clarissa. I'm sorry. I love you, but you ain't gonna be Triple she G. You know give him a run for his money. She didn't say she'd she'd beat him. Right. That's what I be saying. Like y'all be trying to make it seem like females don't know or don't know how to box. When I box better than most of you motherfuckers anyway, and y'all just be talking shit all the time about That's women. True. Hey. Who's the one? I'm the one that been fucking defending you on that, bro. I say you do. But I also ain't going to tell you you're going to be Triple G. Nobody said I'll be Triple G. I said I, I said I want to spar with Triple G. And, I, and I've asked him. I oh, asked him okay, to spar. I asked Triple G to spar. Right. Will you spar me, though? Yeah, I would. <laughs> you want to spar me? I would, 100%. I spar guys bigger than you already, Ryan. Let me get some. You would not spar me, bro. Is you, cr- you would not spar. I mean, Ryan, I've uh, sparred well, Anthony Durrell, Andre Durrell, freaking. To- I'm none of Tony, them motherfuckers. Bro. Tony Harrison. I'm none of them. Shakur <laughs> Stevenson. Bro, I, when I hit, Earl bro, Spence. I won't go easy though. I'm gonna hit. 
I'm going to hit the switch and really knock you out and then wake you up. Ryan, you Ryan, don't want to hit no. shit, Ryan. You wouldn't. Ryan, you're just fast, Ryan. And, I will and literally hit big. you in your temple so bad, you won't even know what hit you. Okay, Ryan, so when are you going to come do it? No, it'll be, it'll be <laughs> no, the it'll smelling salts. I'm asking salts. a question. I'm asking a question. I'm asking a question because yeah, have I, got gonna a get us. I got a boxing ring at my gym. And if you really... if You you got dropped by a no-name. Ryan, you talking about something that was five years ago. I'm happy you brought that up. The, <laughs> about to have kids I'm, I'm, I'm glad you brought it up. Seriously. Ryan, that guy had... And I put it on my grandmother who's dead. The dude had worn gloves. Yeah. The gloves were not even 16 oh, ounces. And the gloves had very little padding. And that's, and that's, oh, and okay. that's no joke. Literally, after he... he you want to fight bare knuckle, me and he you? He dropped me. I'm just fucking. With he you. dropped me five years ago, and then I sparred. No, Damn. then I fought Hannah Gabriel's the next week, and she dropped me first round. I mm -hmm. haven't been dropped since. Oh. But you are talking about something that happened oh, to me sure. five years ago, and I've only ever sparred uh -huh. men in my career and never been dropped by nobody except this one no name who you're talking about. So right, like, if I drop, when it makes if, sense, if I drop it you, sense. if I drop, if I drop you. You know, I, with 16 ounce gloves, if I drop you, will you just respect me after that? I respect you now, but you wouldn't be able to drop me, Ryan. Uh, oh my gosh. I love the. See, I love this. Okay, Ryan, when are I you gotta gonna, go right now. Ryan, I love you. you. Know Ryan, that I'm, bro, check Ryan, your I'm from Flint, Michigan. We don't do a whole bunch of talking. You know, I that. will fly to Flint right now. I will fly to Flint right now and beat your ass real quick and then go <laughs> okay. to Dubai. Well, Ryan, come. Well, come do it. All right, I'm about, to, I'm about to inbox you the address. I and will. Then you can come. With Jim. Please. I'm about you to everything you can Send me I'll be there right now. We don't got to talk about it. Just be about Say it. Right, good show, guys. Beat me up. Right, I'm going to go watch the NBA. Appreciate you.